families who are involved in Priory Hall listening to this really want, are, are clinging on to every sentence, every day you say, all right? We had two different responses again, one from AIB, which was reasonably positive, saying they're going to deal individually with families, yes, but they said in a number of weeks we should have positive solutions for these families. They were disregarding the court case, disregarding everything else, say, look, we're going to be generous, we're going to be open, we're going to be honest, we're going to try and find a solution for these families in the short term. Welcomed by the families. Earlier today, you know, wasn't wasn't particularly as, as encouraging, but you know, now we can easily just say case by case basis and you know the, the proper formal language, or you can say something which is going to indicate to these families that this is a particular situation that you're aware of that that is unique, and that we can find imaginative solutions and positive solutions for, for for the situation we find ourselves in. Okay, I'm just wondering, you know, you can give me the the, the cold faced. Uh, sort of, you know, straight-laced banker answer, or you can give me something that the, that the families will, uh, will will respond more positively to. But it's it's over to you, really. Uh, I've made my comments, deputy, that we are working with our customers who have properties in Priori, uh, Priori, Priori Hall, and we are working with them on a case-by-case -case basis. I don't think there's a a bank blanket solution to individuals in that development, just as there isn't a blanket solution to any other customers that are experiencing financial difficulty. But you feel it can be imaginative? I think we'll look at each case on a case-by-case -case basis. And you think you would be led by what other banks do? I think we'll look at each case on a case-by-case -case basis. Yeah. Just dip your yeah. Do you actually have a timeline or a target date for which those case-by-case -case basis will actually be resolved? It depends on each and every individual's uh, circumstances, Chairman. So, uh, I, I, I know that, but uh, Mr. Brown, you have been given targets of 20% by the 30th of June this year with regard to tens of thousands of people. We're maybe talking about a couple of dozen people in Ulster Bank's case with Prairie Hall. Has the bank given itself, look, we have to get this issue resolved? And we have, I'm not asking you for a date, but do you have a quarter of this year or a quarter of next year to which you would have the Prairie Hall residence situation resolved? Uh, no, we don't. And I think the reason for that is two things. One is that. Um, uh, first of all, the, the circumstances for each individual is different, as I mentioned earlier. Some people are paying their loans and some are experiencing financial difficulty. I think there is a bigger issue that needs to be resolved in this case, and that is actually what happens to the overall priory hall situation, regardless of whether customers have got a mortgage on their properties or not. Okay, Deputy O'Reilly, so you yeah, I just, well, I conclude with this, is that, look, we, we got a positive answer from, from AIB. We didn't get a great response from, from Bank of Ireland, but at least they said they might be influenced by what other bank, banks may do in that regard. What I'm getting from you is case-by-case -case basis, and you won't be influenced by any other factors. I've made my uh, answer already, Deputy.